Landscape design is exciting. Dangerous. Trenches of World War I. Challenging. Oh. Oh! Things break. Oh. Or break down. But in the end, it's all worth it. That was a great front yard, man. Yeah, it came together really well, man. It's early spring, and Maya's bland front yard needs a landscape intervention. Hi, Maya. Well, we need some help. <laughs> <laughs> it's really kind of a landing strip, which I think the kids would absolutely <laughs> love. Like, it's a great place to play. Alley. Yeah. yeah. You have great conditions. You have full sun. Although... Yes. Thanks to the city, we've got this beautiful yeah. small maple in the middle of our yard. The only challenge to this site would be the existing maple, and that feeling of being the first to have a professional landscape and not have it stand out like a sore thumb. It's an old house, and I think something modern, but will complement the house, not too over the top. And we'd like some variation in level. Okay. Like I've got two little guys, they love to climb. That's nice actually to yeah. hear that we're not gonna go after something that's completely manicured and kids oh, can't touch Oh, absolutely not, okay. yeah. This is sort of a medium to small yard for us, which is nice because you can really get into them and have fun. And it's got great light conditions, so that opens up the palette for plant material, so that's great. And while making Maya's garden sparkle, yeah. we've still got to deal with the everyday reality of garbage and recycling. You know, good design is problem solving, and we have to take care of this stuff. Right. And uh, have a good five feet to handle it, that's wonderful. Joel is a lot of fun to work with. Uh, he's got a lot of great ideas. Uh, uh, we'll just see what he comes up with. Yikes, the heat is definitely on. We've got to get a good look at what we're dealing with here. Obviously, we'll have to address the railing. I don't know. It's fine to me. I guess the other issue is this little step yeah. here that the sidewalk is obviously settled, so. Well, we'll probably be lifting all this up, so if we do leave the steps, at least we can work with it and make it flush. We don't have that little trip factor. So it's going to have to be pretty durable if there's kids involved, because they're going to be running back and forth, kicking the balls and playing with their bicycles and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> when you measure a site, you have to be exact. <laughs> Where'd my pen go? Ugh. Do you have any duct tape in your bag? Oh no. Sexy. Sexy. That's good. Whoop. We're better than the jungle to get fresh ideas for plant material. This is a really nice opportunity for us because oh, this is wow. going to be the first one on the block that's professionally landscaped. Cool. And, and the thing is, is to keep it open, but make it feel like it's a personalized landscape. So there has to be a little place for the kids to hang out. Has to look classy, elegant, not too formal. Most of the design elements we do are just different geometric shapes that fit together neatly. I always find circles just makes everything kind of uniform. One really strong geometric shape I think would work better than having it too fussy. Is there a budget for the job? You know, high, low, what are we dealing with? They've been uh, really good about it in the sense that they just want to see what, what the dream garden is. And then, you know, yeah, we might have to cut back from there. Cool, so, man. Yeah. Guys, that's excellent. I think uh, we're on our way. What do you want to do now? Let's make a wish. <laughs> all right. make a wish? Okay. My wish is that we get Maya's front yard all sorted out in short order. I don't think Maya wants us to just come in and plaster a whole bunch of hedging. No, down. I agree. It's a lovely old neighborhood, but there's a little bit of a blandness going on in the front yard. I think there needs to be some element of uh, a curve in there. And she's a girl, and she's curvy, so we can do something kind of curvy. You know, either the walkway could be arced and the beds could be squared off so there's a nice combination or we could get something going where the, the walkway is very rigid. And so just to put a few different geometric shapes to create interest would be a, a good idea. Yeah. Hmm, more eye candy. But it's nice to have a visual focal point, like you are saying, from the street and from the front door. It could be planting or something architectural or an urn. The walkway could come down and have a little bit of a zigger and a zag. These oh. licorice all sorts are coming in handy. This is, okay, this is Maya and there's Joel. Hi. They're all talking. Hello. For easy care, we'll saw it the inside of the circle and ring it with a low maintenance hedging. Okay, come up with a funky little design for you that feels very natural but has a nice contemporary flavor to it as well. 
what's going to happen is as you're walking into the garden, you have a different experience as to when you're leaving the garden, which creates a lot of interest. And it has this nice symmetry of these two benches. These could be potentially boulders. Beautiful. To make it contemporary, this nice sort of U or boxwood hedge that will go all the way around. It'll just be a low hedge that the kids can still jump over and run around and play around still as well. I love the walkway, that it takes this whole linear walkway out of the picture. I love the crop circle he made. It's got some cool, sassy, saucy stuff going on. So yeah, it's good. We can also throw in sloppy as we get rolling with the demolition. The fast you try and go, you just keep sinking in, right? Because the tires are just so bald. Maya wants some of her old plants saved for use at her cottage. So we're bagging them to go. Uh, sorry little fella, not you. This isn't graffiti, the paint marks out all the features and helps us avoid plumbing and gas lines. Things are looking up, at least I like to think. They're all upside down, I gotta flip them without breaking them, which is next to impossible on this yard. Ooh, don't say break, we're talking thousands of dollars of wire and stone here. We better get this worked out. Now to find the main ingredient, the focal stones for Maya's front walk. I like to use Wyerton stone. It's quarried nearby and can handle the freeze-thaw conditions of our northern climate. It also has a lot of color variations. Ultimately, this is the one run with these dark stone colors to match their walkway. We're going in the right direction. Is this the sort of look you're going for only if it was a different color, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I would be dark. after. I love these lines going through it. You really have to put some thought into the stones you're putting down, have them nice and level, have them work and fit nicely together. This is the closest by far. It's just like a foot too deep and a foot too wide. The good thing is, is this can work. We can always bury it, which is a bit of a waste. I don't like to do, but nothing else is going. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. Woo! I'm really excited. Time to kick up some dust. But there's an issue with the Wyrton slabs delivered for the walkway. They're all upside down. I gotta flip them without breaking them. Really porous up here, but on the bottom, it's all nice and smooth. Let's hear what our man Dave has to say about this. F that's a relief. It's time to visit the site, if I can find it. I'm thinking I'm gonna get in a little bit of trouble somehow for this. If it's not uncommon to uh, pay for windows being cleaned and stuff, it's a lot of dust. Oh, Dave, man, it's a uh, little dusty. Maya called me initially, she said she was interested in doing wood steps, but I think after sort of seeing this little bit this morning, she's like, hey, can we leave the existing ones? Which, I have to tell you, they, they don't look too bad. Mm -hmm. Once you put the hose on it and clean it all up, it becomes really apparent that these guys just don't fit together. If it was my house, I would be taking those out. But again, ultimately it's up to her. You know how I said this looks, oh. Oh! Maya's is looking good, but part of the design called for when you walk up, there's these two benches on either side of the walkway. So one's a focal going into the house and one's a focal coming Sounds out of cool. the house. I can't find them. These are one-offs, like these are yeah, important. Totally. Can they be different? No. 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 Well, we talked about rocks. <laughs> Maya got her hedges pruned. Well, we're at the halfway point now. This is all being done in about two weeks and we're, we're thrilled about that. I do have a few concerns with the design though. There's no walkway to the side of the house anymore. I'm gonna have to talk to Joel about that. Uh, <laughs> and what about those steps? I'm favoring leaving them. Originally, I just thought I would re replace them, but I, I don't find them as hideous as I found them before. Next few weeks, the plants will be in. Um, all the kids in the neighborhood will be back on the lawn, so there are some concerns. I hope they don't destroy the place. Now that the dust has settled, we're planting the plants. Hardscape's done. It's uh, screaming out for the plants. I just yep. got to figure out what to plug in. I have a couple of ideas in mind. This is existing maple? 
Yeah, city tree, not very big, which is nice, so it's not going to overwhelm right off the bat and things can grow in and adapt with it as it grows. Thank God, it's not too big yet. <laughs> I think the focal, really, of everything is this hedging. You know what I'm thinking? Yes. Yeah. You, because it's so structural and architectural. It's evergreen, so even in the snow, this has an instant sculpture to it. Down by the sidewalk, I'm thinking butterfly bush. Imagine this butterfly bush is flowering and there's butterflies all over it. I mean, it just creates a great atmosphere for the front. Yeah, absolutely. Black eyed seasons might be nice for up front. I'm thinking that these should be the lunkers. Yeah. And the, these like should... trees or like big shrubs? Big shrubs. Big shrub. Witch hazel. Are you so, actually, you thinking that witch hazel here? Yeah. They're a beautiful mid-sized shrub. They have that early, early flower. And they have a really cool yellow in fall. And it's gonna be instant gratification. Because it will be, because yeah, you're not trying to bring trees in, they're waiting to get big enough. They, they, this is going to be instant when it goes in. Thanks, Ray. Thanks right for picking from. Thanks, Daddy. Yeah. Cheers. Glad that's done. Now for the real hard part, finding those two focal rocks. If we don't, we're sunk. Well, you're hoping to just find the perfect rock. Yeah. No, maybe, two. maybe when we go two. camping, we can throw a few in the canoe, eh? Hey? That would definitely sink us. Maya's front yard is getting some serious style but it still has to fit into the neighborhood. Not too over the top. Those stairs are causing a bit of a clash. Should they stay or should they go? Do we change the steps? Do we not change the steps? And my rock benches are nowhere near solid. I can't find them. I hope the plants will be easier picking. We're looking for uh, witch hazels for my, in front of Maya's house. Right on. Here they are. You really get a sense of this interesting texture on the leaf. It's actually a really cool leaf. There are native species of this plant and uh, they're super tough and super hardy. What is this plant saying? It's saying, I want to go to Maya's house <laughs> with two of my buddies. <laughs> use, 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 use. Excited. That's it for Maya's beautiful arc. When it grows in, to have it clipped high at one side, close to the house and bring it down low in the front or Maybe it's a better idea to just keep them clipped equal all the way across. Maybe it determines a little bit about the plant material behind it. That's a good point, actually, Kennedy, because I have uh, a still be behind and a couple other perennials that are only about so high, so it might have to stay even. All right, enough about you. Now for the butterfly bush. These things, Kennedy, I tell you, they get up to like Huge. as high as the ceiling. Huge. I don't know why people don't use this more often. There's tons that are hardy for our environment. They uh, have a beautiful flower. It lasts actually a really good long time, as opposed to sort of the two weeks. It lasts much longer than that. Let's try a blue that and a red. Blue. And um, what about variegated? Why not? Over there. Our visit Over to left. the nursery is a success. Thankfully, Kennedy's been staying out of the bonbon jar. That's good. We've ordered lots of plant material to balance the architecture of the stone. For a small space, we've got tons of variety and interest. A little look at our plan. I feel like this is really the foundation of everything, but this beautiful arc in turn has created these really nice sort of triangular shapes around. This area is supposed to be masked out with this beautiful uh, carex grass. These are black-eyed Susans, and they look like absolutely nothing right now. They're going to fill this area out beautifully. I would say that if you're doing black-eyed Susans here, and then just carrots on that side, it would be unbalanced. One be too high, one be too low. But what's going to offset that are the three witch hazels. Do you remember this? There's no walkway to the side of the house anymore. You're gonna have to talk to Joel about that. Well, we talk. It's such a small front, it would only warrant one four foot wide access to the sidewalk. And in turn, we did this sort of sub access that leads you to that four foot walkway. And it, we could have ended up retrofitting the design, pulling in the hedge and making another sort of stepping stone walkway here. But she totally got what we were up to and everything worked out. She's like, ah, no problem. Absolutely, we can take things across the lawn and even in the winter time. So they put the stones down here. Here they are. These are absolutely beautiful. I actually love these stones. I love it when people get function combined with design. But when people are doing planting at their house, it's hugely important that the top of the root ball is level with the existing grade you're putting it in. Quite often we see people who put the plants in too low and it smothers it, or they put them in too high and it gets super dry in high summer and they die because they aren't getting enough moisture. I'm just gonna lay out the uh, butterfly bush uh, water-based spray paint. Thinking right around here should work quite well. 
That's good for me, I need to rest. How's it going? <laughs> Maya's is progressing really well. The hedges are in and, and we had a carex, which luckily enough came so dense in the one gallon pots, we were able to split it up and get some nice mileage for it, which is great. Perfect. But our rock benches are nowhere in sight. This should have been dead easy because it's Wyrton, which there's a plethora of. Good word. Ron's luck. So you're hoping to just find the perfect rock? Yeah. Maybe, no, maybe when we go two. camping, we can throw a few That's in the canoe, good. eh? Honestly. You're looking for coursing. What they use to retain like, the lake. Yeah. That so they have to be level because the next row can't sit like that. Do you know where like I can that. find it? We did a job, ask Ron, he'll know where to get it from. Check it out. Thanks to Kennedy's coursing tip and Ron's digging, the stones are about to go in. Finally. Let's hope that uh, Maya likes them. Finally, we found the rocks for Maya's. And usually the regular armor stones come more like squarish, so it's hard to find them a little more linear, which was what we were after. Honestly, I really see it a certain way in my head. It has to be nice and level, and that little bit of extra time makes a big difference. What do you think, Dave, that corner? I want the stones level and about 18 inches high. Perfect for sitting. Let's hope that uh, Maya likes them. How are you? They're beautiful. I, I hope you like them. Like They're them. gorgeous. Right now? I can't wait to tell the boys the good news. Suspend and release, okay? So I was over at Maya's this morning and uh, we placed out the large boulders. They look awesome. You mean the two stone, the big boulder things? Yeah. You, you found them? Yep, the stones have gone in. We're wrapping up the last couple plants that we had to order and uh, they're putting in the lights, so it should be ready in a couple days. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, it's an exciting little front yard. This hey, the is kids, the place. The kids are already making man. use of the garden. Look at that. I love how you use these oversized slabs, man. Maya had a choice between doing boulders, cork and steel benches, or even glass box, and they went for the stone boulders. Well, it really brings it down to earth, putting a natural stone rather than a glass box. Well, it has a very relaxed feel, and yeah. that's like reflective of the climb. She's a cool, funky girl. She's not into just uh, straightforward stuff. She wants something a bit saucy. So here, we mixed up the walkway. I mean, it could have been just like whew, right to the door. That would have been boring, and not who Maya is at all. I think the highlight of the design really is the asymmetric walkway and then offset with the irregular stones. The kids love it. The first day it came in, we sat and ate pizza on the stones. What we've tried to achieve is so the site isn't just swimming in a sea of lawn, but still have it open and accessible too. Often clients are nervous about going right up the sidewalk and they put everything up against the house. But here, we wrap the garden right around and it creates a really beautiful entry court. Well, that's it. You can see the kids' toys everywhere. Like, I really expect that kids will be hanging out here. They're going to hang out with these boulders here all the time. Yeah. We've had a lot of feedback from friends, family, neighbours, and it's all been very positive. So it fits in with the, the neighbourhood. When I pull up with my car, I'm proud to actually get out of my car. Gardens really are about plant material, and that, in turn, is all about time you got to really be able to project yourself a few years from now. I mean, right now you're seeing individual yews. Eventually, you're going to see just one beautiful park coming right across. It doesn't look like much now, but when the, all the plant material grows in, very soon you won't be seeing any soil. It's going to be a beautiful, nice, lush garden. So one of the other things that happened at this site was uh, to consider the porch. It was existing, it was in good shape, and uh, so we wanted to go with some nice dogwoods to just soften it. And as they mature, it's going to offer them a little bit of privacy. Those all went for sort of the big structure of things, but the client also had some butterfly bush here originally, so we tried to pick up on what we thought they would like, hence three butterfly bush. Right. The positive of having a Norway maple on your property is gradually prune it to keep it at bay as it, as it ages. Oh, well, there it is there. Yeah. yeah. This, this tree is right there a lot of years from now. It's going to be massive, so we tried to go with plant species that could handle it. And the storage solution was excellent, Joel. Actually, this site was really unique in that the, between the houses, they had enough room. Well, that's a great solution. You know, you've got a cedar chest, you hide all those plastic bins. There's nothing worse than those things hanging out all over the neighborhood. Yeah, and we did these beautiful stepping stones with a bank of ground cover, which will fill in nicely. I'd say that it's organic and very natural. 
All the features fit beautifully together, although there are some elements that really give it an element of sauciness, which, uh, which I love. Unique is another key word, and even though it's a straightforward, simple little garden, it just has all these little details that make it different. So people should not be discouraged if they have a small front yard. It's all about quality. You can always just install the walkway one year, another year do the planting plan, another year do the boulder. So just chip away at it and do it right. That was a great front yard, man. Yeah, nice right work. Up. I love this electric bolt pattern too. It reminds me of like a lightning strike, man. Awesome. <laughs> Let's follow, Shazam follow, out of here. Follow it, then you leave. You have the little so 80s sweet. feel. Doesn't Come on, Shazam. Let's go. Oh, okay. Do you hear that? It's hot. It's talking. <laughs> it's saying, by me. By me. It's talking. I can't move it. Son of a. Oh, nature. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry. Shrubberies and friends. <laughs> They're so nice. <laughs> Are we done here? Where do we go? The perennial garden? Yeah, sure. Let's get the, the hell out of here. Garden.